In these problems, we are dealing with complex numbers. And a complex number is one that includes imaginary numbers, like i here. And remember, that stands for the square root of negative 1. And then real numbers, like 6. So when you put them together, you get complex numbers. And we're going to look at adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing these things. So let's look at this first one. We have 6 plus i minus the quantity 9 plus 4i. And really the way to approach this is just like you would if the i was an x. We're going to distribute the negative sign through these parentheses, and then we're going to combine our like terms. So let's give that a try. That would give us 6 plus i minus 9 minus 4i. And then let's combine our i terms. We've got a positive 1i and a negative 4i, so that would be negative 3i. And then we've got our constant term, a 6 and a negative 9, so that would be minus 3. And that's all there is to it. So we've simplified that one. Let's try one that's slightly more difficult. But again, here you're going to uh, approach this very much uh, the same way you would as if the i were an x. You're going to multiply through these quantities outside the parentheses and then combine our like terms, although there'll be one little trick with the i squared term that we're going to get here. Let's go ahead and do the distribution. Negative 9i times i is negative 9i squared. Negative 9i times 8 is minus 72i. Then we have a negative 21 and a positive 6i. Now the trick with the i squared, remember, i equals the square root of negative 1. If you were to square this, i squared would equal negative 1 which is kind of handy here because it makes things a lot simpler. So negative 9i squared is really negative 9 times negative 1, or a positive 9. And we have, let's see, a negative 21 here. So that is going to make this a I'm sorry, negative 12. And then we have a negative 72i and a positive 6, so that's going to be a negative 66i. And that is done. We've simplified that one. All right, let's look at another multiplication problem. In this case, it looks a lot like uh, binomial multiplication, which you would normally FOIL. And that's exactly what you're going to do here. Let's multiply the first terms, outside terms, inside terms, and last terms. So first term is negative 7 times 1 is negative 7. Outside, negative 7 times negative 4i is positive 28i. Inside terms, 5i times 1 is 5i. And last terms, 5i times a negative 4i is negative 20i squared. But with our i squared, we're going to do the same trick. Negative 20 times a negative 1 is a positive 20. And let's see, we'll combine like terms. So positive 20 and a negative 7, that's going to be a positive 13. And then we have 28 plus 5i, so that's positive 33i. And we're done with that one. Now the only tricky one is this division here. We've got 1 plus 2i over 5 minus 7i. And I think the way to think about this one is to remember that i is really a radical. It's the square root of negative 1. And when we see a radical sign in a denominator, we want to get that out of there. And the way we do it here, because we've got a, a binomial here, um, is that we would multiply by the conjugate, right? Remember that, according to the rule of squares, a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. In this expression, we've already got something that could be our a minus b. So if a and b, if a is 5 and b is 7i, we would multiply by the conjugate, which means this guy. And then on the bottom, we'll get this, the a squared minus b squared. So on the bottom, we want to multiply by 5 plus 7i. And we'll multiply by the same thing on the top so that we're actually multiplying by 1 and not changing the value of this expression. So let's do that on the bottom first. Uh, it's going to be a squared minus b squared. So it'll be 25 minus 49i squared. But again, i squared is negative 1, so it's really like 40, 25 plus 49, which is 74. So that's what's on the bottom. Now let's work on the top. We're going to FOIL this. So we would get 5 plus 7i plus 10i, and then my, uh, plus 14i squared. But remember, that's actually a negative 1, so this is like a minus 14. So 5 and minus 14, that's going to be a negative 9. 
uh, plus 17i, and that goes over 74. Remember, we found out that was the value on the bottom. And then the only thing else we want to do with this is put it in this form a plus bi. So we would say negative 9 74 plus 17 74 whoops, times i. And that's in the a plus bi form. So that's a little bit of work with complex numbers.